Today we're going to take a look at a few different cases for the Galaxy Tab A 8.0 2019 version with S Pen. And I've currently been using the Spigen Folio case or Spigen, however you want to say it. But I thought I would take a look and see what other options are available currently on Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. So the first case we're gonna look at is by Zinrich and this is currently $19.99 on Amazon. And currently this is only available in black. So it does come with its own little strap, product installation, and you can see here on two corners is where you connect the included strap. So this case doesn't have a built-in screen protector but it does have a plastic frame around the edges that snaps right over top of the screen into the back hard plastic and silicone backing. The nice thing about this rugged case is you've got a nice little handle here in the back that rotates. The power and volume buttons stick out really nice on this. And the whole back of this is covered with a silicone material and it makes it really easy to operate. Then you've got a cutout for the front facing camera and proximity sensor. Then on the bottom you've got cutouts for the S Pen, speaker, and you've got a little flap for the charging port. And on the back you've even got a built in kickstand. And then on the back you have a nice cutout for the rear facing camera. And if you don't want to use these straps, they're really easy to just take off. So overall I really like this kind of case. It makes it easy to use with only one hand. I actually use a case just like this for my 10 inch tablet. It gives it plenty of protection, plus it's got really good grip and it just makes it a lot easier to use with just one hand. So the next case up is by Infoland and this one is a multi-angle business cover with a built-in pocket. And it's currently $20.95 on Amazon. And you've got three different colors to choose from, navy, gray, and black. And this has a really nice feel to it, almost like a fabric material. And then on the inside is a hard plastic that it just snaps right into. And the front cover actually wraps all the way around the tablet and protects the rear camera. Here on the back side, you do have a pocket you can use for storage. It does come with a spot for a pen in case you're using something other than the S Pen. And you can see it's not totally exposed on the top and bottom, but just enough so you can get to the S Pen charging port and it also leaves room for the speaker. And you can see it leaves space on the top for the headphone jack and microphone. You can see the power and volume buttons on this are exposed as well, so it makes it pretty easy to get to. And the thing I like about this kind of case is you can stand it up at just about any position. This next case is by Case Haven and is currently $13.99 on Amazon. This is more of a rugged style case that comes in two different colors, blue and purple pink. So this one does come with an instruction manual. If you're familiar with OtterBox or Griffin, then this is probably gonna be fairly similar. It's got a plastic frame around the edges that snaps in to the back, which is a combination of hard plastic and a silicone TPU material. The downside of this kind of material is it's gonna pick up a lot of dirt and dust, but it definitely adds a lot of grip and protection. You can see the buttons stick out really far on this, which will make it super easy to use. And the volume buttons are super easy to use. And here in the front, it's got some nice cutouts for the front facing camera and sensor. And this one has a rubber type flap for the charging port and the S Pen. And then on the top, there's also a flap for the headphone jack. 
and then you've got an opening for the microphone. And a pretty large opening for that rear facing camera. You also notice on the back, it does have a kickstand. It only works in landscape mode, but I have a feeling that's what most people are going to use. I kind of wish this one had a little handle on the back, like the other rugged case. You could put a screen protector on this one as well, but I feel like it's got pretty good protection just as is. So the next case we're gonna look at is by DTTO, or as I call it, Ditto. And this is currently $18.99 on Amazon. And the only color at this time is black. You can see it's sort of a glossy leather-like material, more like a vinyl material. You can see there's a pocket on the front side, a stylus holder there on the edge, which you're probably not gonna need, and a strap on the back that you just wrap around to keep it closed. And on the inside, it's sort of a tan color. You've got a strap here on the inside just to hold things in place. And a hard plastic that the tablet actually snaps into. You can see there's cutouts for the power and volume buttons. And yeah, those seem to work pretty good. The top and bottom is exposed pretty much all the way across, so it's easy to use your headphone jack, plug in the charging cord, or use the S-Pin. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but when you close these cases, it does make the tablet go to sleep because you're covering up the proximity sensor. It moves sort of slow in my opinion, but at least it does work. Now unfortunately, it doesn't seem to wake the tablet up when you open it. And you can see there is a cutout on the back for that rear facing camera. And of course there's a couple different options here when using this as a stand. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid case for the Galaxy Tab 8.0 2019 with S Pen. The next case up is by Soak and it's currently $15.99 on Amazon and it's currently available in five different colors. Okay, so the first thing I notice about this is on the inside, this thing is super grippy almost like a rubberized suede material. Even on the outside is a really soft material. It definitely gives it some extra grip. Really the only hard plastic is on the corners that the tablet snaps into and the rest of it is exposed so you can access the charging port, S Pen and headphone jack. On the side, you've got a cutout for the power and volume buttons. They seem to work just fine, not quite as easy as the ones that are just all exposed, but still fairly simple to operate. This one appears to have a magnet for that front to stay closed. And yeah, it actually works pretty good. And you can see around the edge, it is hard plastic that's gonna help protect it as well. So this one is definitely one of the thinner cases and really doesn't add much bulk to the tablet. Now, the nice thing is the left hand side is exposed so you can get to the micro SD card. The downside is if you drop the case on this side, it's not really going to be protected along the side. Then it has multiple positions to stand the tablet up. So yeah, this one's actually pretty good as well. I would definitely recommend it. The next case is by Z2 Top, and it comes in four different colors. It's currently at $16.99 on Amazon. For some reason, the black color is only $14.99. I have no idea why they charge different prices for different colors. Okay, so this one is the blue color, and this one feels a lot closer to real leather. You can see the difference putting it next to the shiny vinyl-like material of the Ditto. And this one has a little magnet piece that just wraps around to keep the case closed. 
pretty similar to the Ditto case where you've got a strap on the inside to hold stuff in place. You've got a hard plastic inner shell that you snap the tablet into. And you can see on the back, there is a cutout for the rear facing camera. And then you've got a strap on the back here that also helps keep the case closed. And this one also has a pocket here on the front of the case. You've got cutouts for the power and volume buttons. These are actually a little bit easier to use than the soak case. And then the top and bottom are exposed on this one as well, which makes it easy to get to your headphone jack, charging port, and the S Pen. And then very similar to the other cases, you have a few different positions to choose from to stand the tablet up. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this case. I think I like this one a little bit better than the Ditto Folio case, just because it feels a little bit more premium. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.